So what's our mission? We're trying to prevent World War III. Nuclear holocaust? No, something worse. All I have for you is a phrase. It'll open the right doors. Some of the wrong ones, too. What's the phrase? Welcome back, sneak peekers. Christopher Nolan is supposedly bringing the theater experience back with his new film, Tenet, and with the current movie release slate looking barren, it seems like it might be in the theaters for a while. So we wanted to review the film and see if it's worth the price of admission. Christopher Nolan has always been a filmmaker obsessed with time, sometimes overly so, and his new film is no exception. For all the people clamoring for Nolan to make a Bond film, this is honestly pretty close. The film is dense and complicated, but easily spoilerable, so we'll tread lightly. Yeah, no spoilers here. On the whole, I like Tenet. I appreciate that there are still directors like Christopher Nolan who are allowed to make any kind of movie they want and people will still go out and support, and it's clear that Nolan had full control to do whatever he desired with this movie. The premise of inversion as you see in the trailers is very intriguing and is used to great effect, I thought, especially in the action sequences. And while it can be a little bit hard to track what's going on when there are two people moving in two different directions in time, the pure spectacle of it all is incredible. Opinions are mixed, but Nolan's filmmaking craft on display in Tenet cannot be denied. Tenet was a weird watch for me. On one hand, I enjoyed watching it. I mean, the craftsmanship is obviously there. It's a really cool concept, Gorson's score is fantastic, the cinematography is very pretty, and the commitment to practical stunts is at points awe-inspiring. I'm not entirely sure where practical work starts and visual effects begin. Of course, the scope here is incredible. But it's also bland and occasionally lifeless in a way that Nolan hasn't really been before. I forgot almost the entire plot on the way home, and besides a few really cool frames, most of the movie hasn't really stuck with me at all. Part of that is due to the complex narrative. In the past, I've appreciated the fact that Nolan uses science in his plots, but there is a point in Tenet where it starts to feel like I accidentally wandered into a physics lecture instead of a film. The exposition of the film's rules is so heavy-handed and dense, and the sound mixing doesn't help. Half the time it felt like the dialogue was being blown out by the score and the sound effects. It made a difficult plot even more difficult to follow, but complex narratives are fine if there are great characters to pull us through the story, but there aren't. You'd think that a writer-director as prolific and acclaimed as Nolan could move past simple archetypes like the damsel in distress, but he can't. I can't find an adjective to describe our main character besides the fact that he's skilled and that he doesn't quit, but those are things he does, not who he is. It's just a shame that Nolan resorts to defining characters wholly by their relationships, the husband, the mother, the partner, rather than by their personalities. And the actors try their best to imbue the characters with a sense of authenticity, but ultimately the basic characterization isn't there. Yeah, what is probably my biggest issue with Tenet is that the film seems more interested in its premise than it does in its characters. Like, there's no question that John David Washington plays his role very well, but his character depth is so thin that I just couldn't connect to him. We get virtually no backstory from him and no deeper motivations beyond just the mission. We literally don't even learn his name, we only know him as the protagonist. I feel that Washington could have done something really great with a more fleshed out character, akin to Dom Kahn from Inception or even Bruce Wayne from The Dark Knight, but I doubt he got any character notes beyond stoic military guy. So if you watch Tenet for its cool action and its trippy set pieces, you'll probably find a lot to enjoy. But if you're the kind of viewer more interested in character, you might walk out feeling shortchanged. That being said, John David Washington, Elizabeth Debicki, Kenneth Branagh, and Robert Pattinson all give great performances nonetheless, with Pattinson being a bit of a standout in my eyes. I mean, I'm not necessarily a huge Nolan fanboy or anything, but it is disappointing to see a director as talented as he is waste that skill. Although I had to think about it for a while, I'd say in my opinion Tenet might be his worst movie, although admittedly I haven't seen The Following or Insomnia. That's not to say it's totally bad, just ultimately disappointing compared to his regular caliber. And although I'm normally a proponent of the theater experience, 
I don't know if Tenet is worth it. If I mean, if you're a big Nolan fan, then maybe. And it might be even better on the big screen than at home. But if you're not, I'd wait until it came out on VOD so you can watch with subtitles and maybe understand a little bit more than I did. Yeah, subtitles would definitely help. I do think that the theater experience boosted the impact of the action and the spectacle, but in these times when safety is priority, you might want to wait until it hits streaming services or something like that. I don't think Tenet is no one's worst movie. I don't even think it's a bad movie, again, I liked it on the whole, but it just doesn't hit the peaks that his previous films do. But please, see it for yourself. If you're a fan of Nolan's movies, you'll probably find stuff to enjoy. But that's all for us. Thanks for watching Sneak Peek. You can check out more reviews here on the channel, and I hope you enjoyed. For transparency's sake, I watched this movie in an empty theater on a weekday morning and kept my mask on for the whole duration of the film. Meanwhile, I saw it at a local drive-in, so I was able to stay in my car the whole time and not interact with anyone. Stay safe, wear your masks, thanks for watching.